interesting uh, a question we had from a fan or from a listener, a good friend of ours, Adam. We uh, mentioned this in the pre-show. Wow. He wants to talk Aaron Andrews because JP has some strong thoughts on this. Of course, Aaron Andrews awarded a $55 million settlement in her Peeping Tom lawsuit with the uh, hotel and the pl- uh, the defendant, who I don't remember who he is. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. Like uh, Barnett, something yeah. like that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Who cares? What do, you, what do you guys think of this? I Fifty-five million dollars is an awful lot of money for somebody she's who's not wildly successful. That, no, she may she she will not get that much. Well, because half of it has comes to from come him. from him, and he ain't got twenty-eight, twenty-seven million dollars. He just got out of prison. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think. Uh, yeah, That's it's a gonna lot be of tough for, to trade Yeah, for it's gonna time. be tough for him to find a job first of all, and then you know, uh, yeah. It's, uh, so Sturge wanted to know uh, JP's thoughts on this. Yeah, I'll let and JP I know, take it. I know you have some. I'm just trying to figure out. Now, first and foremost, I give put out a disclaimer, even though it don't matter to me. You could flame my mentions. The dude is wrong. Like he 100% invaded her privacy, and he was convicted. He spent two and a half years in prison for doing so. But first and foremost, she sued the dude. She, she didn't even really sue the dude. She sued the hotel for $75 million in damages. I'm trying to figure out what type of damages garner $75 million because as Evan said, a lot of people on the internet said a wrongful death suit in this country yeah. only yields you $3 million. We got cops killing people every day for no reason and nobody gets cashed out. And you mean to tell me that somebody took a video of you through a peephole curling your hair <laughs> without any draws on it and you got $55 million? Uh, what, 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 how are you damaged? I, I don't think you can judge at all, obviously, the psychological effect it has on a woman now who every time she travels in the hotel room has to be has to be fearful that someone could be watching her. And, and I feel you on that, but how does throwing that much money at her fix that? Well, I was going to get to the point that, yeah, yeah again, the wrongful death <clears throat> thing, you're, what is that? It's uh, 18, 19 times a wrongful death suit payout. Yeah. Like that's a problem with the system in that case. And I think that's what most people, I, I, I would think and hope that that's what are most people's problems with this ruling is, is that, is the system rather than the fact that she's getting a reward for what happened to her. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not against Aaron Andrews. I really don't care. I'm just finding it funny how she got so much money for, like, a peeping Tom when so many other people get $0 mm-hmm. for probably worse peeping Toms. Things or, that happen, they're worse than that to some people, and nothing happens. Like zero. No, no charges are pressed. No, no lawsuits are filed. Nothing happens. So that judge should be hung out to dry because that's, that's egregious. And as far as her future as a broadcaster, I assume she'll stay on, right? Well, she, where's that's she gonna, the other well, she thing. She doesn't need on. to. This is my issue. So the defense, people got mad, but this is how court works. You know, you got to prove guilt. Yeah. And the guy was like, so you were at ESPN. Yeah. You came back. You got a bigger contract than the first time. You left ESPN, went to Fox, got a bigger contract than that time. But when she was uh, being questioned by her squad, prosecu- uh, the regular, her squad, she said uh, for three months, ESPN and Fox said that this was my fault. Like I was in cahoots with the dude. It was a publicity stunt. And I was like, yeah, but you went back to Espen and got paid. And then you went to Fox and got double that. I, 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 I was telling Evan, like you took Pam Oliver's job on mm-hmm. the A squad. Yeah. And that was way after this. So, like, you didn't lose any money. You got Dance with the Stars. Yeah. I'm not saying that this case no. catapulted her. Right. But she's already wealthy. Yeah. So, like, what's the point? <laughs> yeah, just take the whole that out of, out of the equation. Like, it didn't damage her career. At all. But she claimed that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which and is false. I'm not saying what, what happened was right in any way, shape, or form. But, but again, you can't, you can't argue that it, it hurt her career. She didn't lose. <clears throat> And then she went to two spots. The that only she thing said, that hurt her career was getting hooked up with Jarrett Stoll. Oh. <laughs> well, to your point, JP, from earlier this week when we talked about this, it's not like, and this remains to be seen, but it's not like she's going to turn around and do something with that money. I just found it odd how in court you said that ESPN dogged you and Fox dogged you, but you didn't sue ESPN, you didn't sue Fox. Like, they both paid you, and one is currently still paying you. Mm-hmm. Like, if somebody was egregious to you at a at a job spot and you thought that they embarrassed you or they uh, slandered you, et cetera, et cetera, why do you go back to work? Like, you sign right back to the man who you said smeared your name. Right. I, I think to sum it all up, while you can't say 
some, something terrible happened to Aaron Andrews, I think, and that will affect her forever. Yeah. But I think <clears throat> w- how she turns around out of this and what she does with this because of it, I think a lot of people hope she could use this for the greater good. Yeah, use that money maybe helps. I don't know how you can set up a maybe set up a foundation or yeah, something. something. Yeah, yeah, women who are victims of domestic right. violence. Yeah. Um, or who stalkers who need who need like therapy yeah. to kind of get through being you know as uh, you know just being so nervous when they're on the road women who, women who can't afford paranoid. Uh, mental health yeah you know yeah psych, psych psychiatric care something like that I mean yeah do something with that money because she most people don't need that kind of money yeah especially her 